Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to introduce you an amazing lady. Our next distinguished guest, who has worked on several projects related to satellite communications. Her Excellency, Dr. Hayar. Her Excellency is the Minister of Solidarity, Social Inclusion and Family, Kingdom of Morocco. Her Excellency has a fabulous academic background. Her Excellency received with honors as the first Moroccan the degree of aggregation in electrical engineering from Ecole Normale Superior de Cahan. Sorry if I uh, pronounce the French a little bit uh, other way around here. Yeah. She received the diploma in signal processing image and communications and the degree of engineer in telecommunications assistance and network from NCIHT de Toulouse. She received with honors the PhD degree in signal processing and telecommunications from Institute National Polytechnic in Toulouse. She was research and teaching associate at Eurocom's mobile communication department from 2001 to 2010 in Sofia, France. Her Excellency Hayar was appointed president of University Hassan II of Casablanca, Morocco, and is the second female in the history of Morocco to occupy this office. She is co-initiator since 2013 of e Medina Smart City, and she sits on many boards in Morocco and the International Electrical Engineering Institutes. Please, Excellency, the floor is yours. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim wa salatu wa salam ala ashrafil mursaleen. Excellency Salim bin Muhammad Al Malik, General Director of ISISCO, Excellencies, Ministers, Excellencies, Ambassadors, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, good morning to all of you. It is a great pleasure for me to be here today at this first edition of the International Aerospace Symposium. I would like to thank ISISCO, the Islamic World Educational, Scientific and Culture, Cultural Organization, and the particular General Director, Dr. Salim Al-Malik, for inviting me to attend the opening ceremony and participate in this great panel on the workforce development in aerospace and space Sciences. I would like also to thank partner universities, especially Qadi Ayad, University of Qadi Ayad, and the UER uh, presidents attending uh, this event with us today. This event could not be more timely, as we have witnessed last week, a huge discovery when we all have seen both the deepest and the, clean, the, the clearest image of our universe. One of them is behind us here. That has ever been taken thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. I would say another giant leap for mankind. With this discovery, we are about to have an entirely new perspective on the universe. And our prime goal must be to take advantage of space technologies for the benefits of human society. This is in line with the current and the overall vision of His Majesty, the King Mohammed VI, with the launch of Mohammed VI satellites or years ago, whose mission were to jointly enable a faster coverage of zones of interest and be used for various activities, in particular for mapping and surveying activities, regional development, agriculture, <laughs> as well as the monitoring changes in the environment and desertification. That was a great stride. I don't know if you are hearing me. Is it okay? Okay. That was 
the Greeks strive forward for Morocco 21st century ambitions and mirrors the visionary leadership of His Majesty King Mohammed VI, my God assist him. Space technologies is also a bit familiar to me, indeed. And as engineer and young researcher in Toulouse at TESA Laboratory for Telecommunication Space and Aeronautics, led by Professor Francis Castanier, I had to work on identifying satellite transmission chain damage using neural networks modeling approach. After that, I have long been involved in research and teaching on telecommunication technology using terrestrial and satellite systems and in ICT, information communication technologies in general. And doing amazing research aiming to address challenges such as delivering efficient, cost-effective, ubiquitous telecommunication systems at any time, anywhere, and for everybody in the world, working with inspiring experts and professors from around the world. And I am happy to be with you today here and listen to the experts who will give, uh, I'm sure, very exciting and interesting uh, talks. I feel very fascinated by space and very pleased to learn today from the world wonderful present experts in the conference. On the other hand, I will focus in my speech on space technology from the social and inclusive perspectives. Ladies and gentlemen, I strongly believe that our society can become more inclusive with space technologies. There have been impressive advancements in space science and space technology over the past decades. Applications such, such Earth observation, satellite navigation, satellite communication, and many related technologies can have a social impact as well. Just as broadcasting satellites have transformed the mechanism by which we receive media content, communication satellites are becoming a key component in providing, in improving education, healthcare, and the standard of living. And I'm happy to give this speech here in, I would say, the temple of Islamic world uh, for uh, educational, uh, cultural, and science organization. I cannot be denied, especially here, as I said, at SSCO, that education is an important factor in promoting social cohesion. In many respects, education makes a positive contribution towards facing the problems of poverty, degradation of environment, and improvement of health. Education increases the capacity of people to transform the vision of the society into oper operational realities, it therefore becomes the primary agent of transformation toward sustainable development. About three years ago, I had the privilege of being uh, nominated as the president of Hassan II University of Casablanca. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we had insisted on the need on digital transformation and digital platforms that allow free access to lectures to courses to information to all our students in our university. We have used VSAT technologies to deliver teaching content to students even if in sites that were not covered by, uh, by terrestrial systems. And I am currently paying the same attention in the Ministry of Solidarity, Social Inclusion and Family to to, uh, to, to be able to deliver to vulnerable population the same approach, using the same approach to allow everyone the access to the information, especially uh, social services, using satellite technology, especially in a rural area where we don't have, you know, uh, terrestrial covers at some places, and to min minimize societal divides and bridging the gap through technology. The potential of satellite communication technology for societal applications such as telemedicine could provide affordable access to high quality and timely healthcare, particularly for remote and inaccessible areas. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to highlight that it is important 
to include more people with different ages and backgrounds, including people with physical disabilities, to have the to knowledge in space and science to rush an inclusive and equal society. We all remember during our childhood watching the record of the moon landing and being motivated to walk towards our dreams. It is then very essential to encourage people to discover and study space from their young age since special exploration feeds the curiosity and imagination of our children. This could be done by giving child the opportunity to participate in virtual space missions, sharing space resources with educators and family, and inspiring young generation through fun space uh, learning activities. And in our uh, uh, new strategy, we are de uh, developing programs to assist families uh, with, the, as I said, the programs for sensitization about uh, science, culture, and space also, because we believe this is determinant for kids to learn and to be sensitized to science since their young age. Digital technologies can also play an important role to encourage children to discover, as, as I said, the space through websites, very, very frugal, as you know, I'm very uh, um, uh, supporting frugal approaches, through websites that contain a lot of material and activities to entertain ch childs at home and learn about science and space. In the meantime, space clubs in school in schools, uh, in, the, in the open spaces in the city, can be also places to discover uh, sp space. Women role also is very important. Women role models in aerospace like our astronauts inspire girls to dream and consequently achieve their goals. But unfortunately, the number of women involved in this area all around the world is still very uh, low compared to men. According to the United nations, the number of women employed in the international space industry represent just about 20% of the workforce, and only around 11% of astronauts so far have been women, so almost 90%, I would say, of astronauts have been men. Over 560 people have traveled space, but less than 70 of them are women. So to address some of these, those issues, we have to work together to promote women's empowerment and bring more awareness to the issue of gender diversity and identify the obstacles that women are facing when entering space-related careers to get them playing an active and equal role in space science, technology, innovation, and exploration. And as you know, we will at the same time advance the goal five of SDGs. Ladies and gentlemen, I strongly believe that disability don't prevent people from becoming scientists and experts in sp space science and technologies. We all are and still fascinated by Professor Stephen Hawking, who transformed humanity view of the universe and unlocked some of the secrets of space and time. In that sense, this, we, 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 we realize that uh, disability is not an obstacle. So government should raise awareness of the need for new access technology and the expansion of the capabilities of existing pro access prototypes, equipment, and infrastructure that promote inclusive space-related scientific research and education and contribute to inclusive, equitable, and sustainable development. At the same time, this is not only the role of government and the private sectors and non-governmental and non-profit organizations could also play an important role by empowering citizens in pub public-private people partnership and connecting this global intelligence to advance inclusive space science as well as sharing and growing the passion, beauty and joy of space exploration in collaborative way, as I said, through this public-private people uh, partnership especially taking into account uh, artificial intelligence development and opportunities and how with this cyber physical system concept we could increase the scope of collaboration opportunities and perspectives of global intelligence benefits. In conclusion, I would like to bring this presentation to close with thanking His Excellency, the General Director of Cisco, for organizing this exciting event and very interesting event 
And also my thanks go to the organizing committee without whom this event would not be possible. Thank you so much for your inter interest and attention.